specifics, specific asks. I'll get to that in a minute as the rest of the presentation. But what the Democrats have done is something Republicans have failed to do for 30 years. That Republicans have failed to do for 30 years in this county. When I moved to Lake County 30 years ago, this was a fairly Republican county. I can remember when we had 23 county board members, 18 of which were Democrats, were Republicans, excuse me, and five were Democrats. And the five that were Democrats were in basically Waukegan, North Chicago, Highland Park. The rest was Republican. We had, uh, a few years later, we had all four county, I mean, excuse me, all eight county wides were Republican. We had one state rep that was a Democrat. All the rest of the state reps were Republicans, all the state senators were Republicans, and the congressmen were Republicans. So Lake County was solidly red, and this wasn't that long ago. This was 1995 is when we were solid red out here pretty much. Over the years, the Democrat Party would slowly start running people for office. They would have them run for different jobs that they knew they couldn't win, but that wasn't the point. The objective was to get their people prepared for running a campaign that they could win later on. They wanted to have them run for lower level races, more municipal, county board, stuff like that, that didn't require a lot of effort to get elected compared to running for state rep or state senator of Congress. And they would have them go run in Republican areas to try to test out the areas to see where the Democrats were, basically. Because everything in Lake County claimed it was a Republican, even if it wasn't. And slowly but surely, they started identifying their voter base out there in Lake County. Add to that the migration out of Cook County, up into the suburbs now, moving to greener pastures to get away from the cancer of Kent County, of Cook County, we have a lot more Democrats that have actually moved up here into Lake County. So the Democrats basically identified their voters over the 20 some odd years. They had the same Democrat chairman ran their party. Terry Link was the Democratic chairman from 1992 until 2021. The only reason that Terry Link isn't the chairman anymore is because he was federally indicted for a felony and he stepped down from his state senate job and he stepped down from being the Democratic chairman. But for years they slowly and quietly started kind of like being how water is, how it gets into a little crack and gets a little bit deeper over here and spreads around and all that. And before you knew it, all of the local municipal school boards, the local municipal villages and cities, all the different levels of, of government at the, at the local level became controlled by Democrats. <coughs> then they started moving up the food chain and taking over the more contested races. Republicans historically didn't get involved in those kind of races because everything was a Republican. And if the Republicans got involved with a local Antioch race for mayor or for trustee, people were saying, why is one Republican fighting another Republican? And why is the Republican Party picking sides in a particular municipal race? We're all in this together. Why are you guys getting involved? We're nonpartisan. So for years, Republicans did not get involved in local races. Democrats did. They didn't run as Democrats. They got into office, and now they're actually running as Democrats at the municipal election. Dick Barr, I know, was heavily involved in the municipal races down in Round Lake Beach. The Democrats in Round Lake Beach set up an entire slate of Democrats. First time ever, as far as I know, isn't it, Dick? Yeah. First time ever. Yeah, and Dick got behind some candidates that were opposing them who were not running as Republicans. They were running as some local uh, party that's made up for a particular municipal race and they managed to beat those Democrats. But this is what's happened, Dick, over time. And we are trying to build up the same kind of inertia, but it's difficult to get Republicans in willing to get involved at all levels of politics in Lake County because of the traditions and the history. In addition, we've also got the problem that Republicans tend to get involved in politics three months before an election. Democrats are working the election's over, they start on the next one, and then they start on the next one, and then they start on the next one. And what ends up happening is, we roll up three months before the election and say, well, okay, here's our candidates, let's get out and do something for them. Since I've been chairman over the last few years, we've tried to increase the amount of support that our candidates got from the Republican Party at the county level. The difficulty is, is that we don't have a lot of money. The difficulty is, we have a lot of people that basically don't have the time to volunteer as much as the Democrats do. The Democrats really don't have to worry about volunteers. They end up going out and getting a bunch of union people from Chicago that they pay to come up here and work the precincts. So they have spent a number of years. It took them a long time to get to where they are, and it took us a long time to get down to where we are. 
but I see 2022 as an opportunity for us to turn the corner. Part of the reason I think 2022 is going to be such a good year is because of some of the stuff I said at the beginning of my conversation here about what people are concerned about and what they're seeing. It's going to be a midterm election. Biden's going to overplay his hand. Prisker's already overplayed his hand. And hopefully we're going to see a pushback, not only Lake County, but all over Illinois and nationally. In addition, I'm hoping that the Democrats think that Lake County is a Democrat county. I'm hoping that whatever maps they draw, they decide that they're going to get greedy and try to knock off some more of our Republicans. The more they reach out, the weaker the districts get that they currently have in office. Sandy Hart at the county board level has 14 other Democrats that she has to protect from seats. A lot of them are new people. They've only been on the county board for a couple of years. And if she decides that she's going to try to go after what's left of the Republican co coalition on the board, she's going to find out that she may actually weaken a lot of the territory she currently already holds. A lot of the seats that we lost in the last few years were seats that we really shouldn't have lost. But we had some bad national winds that were blowing across Illinois that didn't help us. We had a lot of candidates that I don't think really saw the train coming whenever it was coming in time to actually do something to try to stop it. We had a couple of scandals in Lake County that occurred a couple of years ago. Many of you may remember when Aaron Waller, our county board chairman, had to step down because of a controversy. Nick Sauer, one of our state representatives from the Barrington area, had to step down. And the Democrats used that effectively against Republicans to basically paint everybody with the same brush. We are working as a united team at the county level to basically have a cohesive message. That's something also Republicans don't typically have as a cohesive message. We tend to be more independent. The Democrats tend to be more followers. They got some boss standing up here who used to be Mike Banigan. He said, this is what your message is for the day, and this is what they all stood in line and did. Republicans tend to be more independent-minded. They tend to go out and they talk about different issues, and they don't necessarily get behind in a, in a combined effort. I've been advocating for the last several years that Republicans start trying to get together on a message that we can repeat over and over and over again, and messages that appeal to the electorate like some of the issues that I talked about at the beginning of our discussion tonight. Those Republicans that did get on that agenda are still in office. Those that didn't are not. Simple as that. Oh, I'm getting the microphone. Over here in the back, the gentleman has his hand up. Oh, yes, sir. I'm relatively new to the area. Do you live in Antioch? I do. Okay. Welcome! to vote in the recent election, the local, my recollection is that none of the candidates were listed by their party. It was all either independent or some with the township, there was some group of four or whatever. I ended up, which is why I'm here now, because I ended up speaking with Sherry, who gave me some information about who uh, reasonable candidates who lean more uh, conservative and, and Republican. But otherwise, I really had no idea, and it was kind of a crapshoot uh, who I was voting for. And again, I think I recall properly that nobody was identified as a Republican or a Democrat. Yeah. So. Which goes to the issue that I made earlier about how the Republicans have, have typically not got involved officially in those local races because those local, local office holders didn't want to be associated as a Republican. They tend to create their own local party organizations for that election. And so what ends up happening is nobody knows what they're voting for unless they happen to know the people they are voting for. Right, they run independently. Well, I think even I you did. Were you listed as a Republican or Democrat? Right. He can't. He's a school board member. Right. Yeah. School board by law can't have any parts of the well, I was doing a lot of research and much of it put on the computer, but you know, that doesn't really help that much. So that, that's a, a problem, I think, too, if we're going to vote for the party that we supposedly support. Uh, it'd be nice to know who people are and what they stand for. So that's all. It's just, that's what this club should be doing. I'm sorry? Jump, that's what this club should be doing. And if you come to this club, or Bill Lake Villa, or any of the other Republican clubs, they will tell you what they have done. The worst one of the judges. It's almost impossible to get through Well, that's why I'm here now. Uh, can I we'll just add that? Yeah, what's your question? One other, why, do, why don't the Republicans have any of the big donors anymore? I mean, it seems 
like all that you mentioned before, the Democrats are loaded with money, and, and whether we are or not, I don't know, but it doesn't seem to get to where it's The Democrats are loaded with money in part because they're in charge. Mike Madigan was uh, the leader of the Democrat Party from 1999 to 2021 at the state level, and he was Speaker of the House from 1983 to 2021, inclusive except for one two-year period of time. When you're in power, people want to give you money because they want favors. They want stuff done. A lot of businesses anymore in this county have decided they don't want to be basically involved in politics, and so people that traditionally we were able to get donations from are not providing those donations anymore because they don't really want to be affiliated with political stuff. And a lot of the corporations, while President Trump was in office, definitely didn't want to get too affiliated with the Republican Party because they were worried about whether or not President Trump would have an adverse effect on their business type of situation because of the cancel culture. I'm not saying that I agree with them necessarily, but that's part of the problem. Other questions? Yes, Linda. I can't hear you, Linda, I'm sorry. I don't have a And Linda, I think you were talking more about the municipal elections like this, the village, the township, et cetera, that don't run as Republicans and Democrats do. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Dick. Oh. Uh, oh, thanks, Chairman. Uh, and I do want to answer that as well, real quick. That's the importance of the precinct committeeman. The pre precinct committeeman's job is the most important position in the county because, like Mark said, we don't have a lot of money. We don't have a lot of money coming in, so we need word of mouth. We need uh, a very energized face of people who believe in Republican conservative politics to talk to their neighbors. And this is why you folks who are brand new committeemen, this is so important to us because you're more valuable than a $10,000 mailer that goes out to the district. We need to share that information and like you said, it won't show up on the ballot. And none of us have time to review every candidate in all of the 6,993 uh, elected positions in Illinois. So committeemen are so important for that reason. But you gotta help your committeemen. Help your committeemen get the word out. We don't expect you to show up to every meeting. Show up to some, but know who your committeeman is. Know who to talk to to say, hey, Joe, who's running on our side? And Joe will tell you, A through Z, who the people are that you should be voting for. So get to know your committeemen. They have a lot of influence and a lot of power. And then when you need help, your committeeman will make the contact with the elected official who will give you at least a path to get what you need. Fair enough? Let's talk about what the party has in mind and what you can do. Okay? So everybody, that's why it's so important that, that you know, over and over, can I have your complete email address? Because the email address and your address, so we can, as a club, we identify where you live and all the precinct commitment members in Antioch, we get together regularly. What the party has got planned, and we've been slowly bringing this online for the last couple of cycles, uh, trying to change the culture of how we run campaigns, is I've got a whole litany of things that we are trying to do to recruit candidates and to train those candidates. And the resources that we're prepared to provide them, I won't go through each one of the items, you can read them for yourself. But what we need is we need people that are willing to volunteer to help candidates out, it could be something as simple as stuffing envelopes, making phone calls. 
uh, holding a little meet and greet at your home, uh, doing a friend to friend card, writing a letter to the editor. Um, it could be putting, how about just putting a sign in your yard saying such and such for some particular office, okay? We need people that are willing to volunteer and help candidates out because that's where the lifeblood of a campaign is. We also need people that are willing to become voter registrars. As the chairman of the Lake County Republican Party, I'm eligible to sponsor any of you. If you are a registered voter, I can sponsor you to, to be able to be a voter registrar. So you can register people to vote. Now, frankly, if you register a bunch of Democrats to vote, I'm going to fire you. But you can be a voter registrar. All you have to do is get sponsored by us, go to a one-hour class, get your packet, and you can register people to vote in Lake County. You can also be involved by helping out as an election judge. There's been less and less Republican election judges over the last several years and more and more Democrat election judges that have basically been appointed in Lake County. Um, I have the ability as the chairman of the party to appoint election judges that are Republicans and to fire election judges that I don't think are Republicans but claim they're Republicans. And every year I get a list, usually I get it about a week before I have to give an answer, but every year I get a list of people that are Republican and Democrat election judges and I talk to my township organizations and try to get them to help me identify who really is a Republican and who just says they're a Republican and also to let me know if there's people in their areas that would like to be an election judge. We also can have people volunteer as precinct committeemen. Precinct committeemen, we we beat that horse to death tonight between myself and Dick and others as to how valuable these people are to us. If you think that that might be a little bit too much for you to do to volunteer, maybe what you could do is be a helper to a precinct committeeman. We call those precinct captains. Their job is to maybe take one street in a precinct or two streets in a precinct, not a whole precinct and help out, just get the word out as to who the Republican candidates are. This is what you can do to help. You can also write a check to your Antioch Republican Township Organization or your Lake County Republican Central Committee or write a check to a candidate that's running for county board, like Linda Peterson, for example. I second that. Okay. Or Dick Clark, for example, who's a county board member from, um, from uh, District 3, which is just down the road from here. These people need your help. Don't be writing checks to the Republican National Committee. Don't be writing checks to the Illinois State Republican Party. Even though I'm the co-chairman of the state party, I'm telling you, don't be writing checks to the Illinois Republican Party. Write them to the Antioch Republican Party or the Lake County Republican Party. <laughs> Tip O'Neill once said, all politics is local. And the reason he said that was because it is. So often, you can convince somebody that is not necessarily a Republican to vote for a candidate, especially at the local level, if they get to know them.